with iOS 16 beta out, there's some cool new stuff. So I wanna show you guys five things I did right away on my iPhone as soon as I got iOS 16 on it. Now I do wanna mention before we hop into this video that if you guys are curious about anything you see, like the wallpaper I might be using or how to do certain things that I don't cover in this video, a link will be down in the description to a post on my website where I show you guys everything step by step. So be sure to check out that link if you guys are curious on how to do anything. Okay, so first up, we are on the lock screen. One new cool feature with iOS 16 is the ability to kind of hide your notifications on the lock screen. I absolutely love this. I've never been a fan of the iOS 6 or iOS style notifications where you have all the notifications on the lock screen just cluttering it up making it look awful, but now we can change it to a counter. As you guys can see here, it just shows that I have one new notification. Now, of course, I can tap on this to view the notification, but I like that it keeps all the notifications just down in a singular counter at the bottom of the screen. Thank you, Apple. I absolutely love that feature. Now, to enable it, we go into settings, we go to notifications, and we change the display as to count. I think by default it is stack, but if you change it to count, it is just a simple counter on the lock screen. Next up is not new to iOS 16. We've been able to do this since iOS 14, but it's still something that I had to do right away uh, on iOS 16, and that is custom app icons. Now, don't, go, don't get me wrong, I don't mind stock icons, and some of you know third-party apps allow you to choose from a list of different icons, which is really cool, but I still like the ability of making custom icons on my home screen. I think it just makes it look really cool. And, you know, people usually wonder, you know, how you did that or what theme is that, etc. cetera. Um, so the theme that I'm running here is it's kind of stock, but kind of not. You don't have the app icon name, so on and so forth. Now, to make custom icons is pretty much its own tutorial. So I, I will have a tutorial on the post on my website if you guys wanna see how to create custom icons. But as you can see, the settings icon is a custom icon and it opens up settings. And that's pretty much all it does. I mean, if I wanna go into files, I can go into files. If I want to go into the app store, I can go ahead and launch that. So that is the second thing that I did on iOS 16 is made myself some custom icons. Now, being a long time jailbreaker, one of the tweaks that I used to, used to love to install was haptic keyboard. I really loved having haptics as I typed on the keyboard. Well, guess what? We have it on iOS 16 now, but you do have to enable it. It's not on by default. So what you're gonna do is go into settings, go to sounds and haptics, and go ahead and scroll down until you see keyboard feedback. There's a couple of options here. You have sound and haptic. Thank you, Apple, I love this. I think haptic is off by default. Go ahead and turn that on. And now anytime you type on your keyboard, you will feel the haptics. And it's actually really, really nice. Okay, next up, I'm sure you guys know that iOS 16 allows you to, uh, allows you to have widgets on the lock screen. But did you know that you can customize those a little bit further? So if we go into customize, um, let's say we want to you know, change the battery icon there. So you can go through a list of batteries this way, as you can see here is, you know, two different widgets. But if you tap on the widget itself, you can change a couple of things. So uh, the batteries widget will automatically switch between your devices, depending on what's connected. If your watch is connected or your AirPods, whatever it might be, it'll automatically switch. But if you don't want it to do that, you can turn that off and then you can select from your devices. Now I don't have my um, AirPods down here, but as you can see my Apple Watch is there and also the battery for my 12 Pro Max. So I'll leave it as my 12 Pro Max. That way it's not displaying, um, we'll have to change this one too actually. I want this one to be my wrist gadget. So there you go, we'll switch those around. So that way it's showing my Apple Watch on the left and it's showing my iPhone on the right. And you can do that with a few different things. You can do that with the weather as well. I think if you tap and hold, if you don't want it to be my location, you can specify the location of that widget. So 
uh, the widgets are more customizable than they appear. It's not just a list. You can actually click and hold on them to edit them. I thought that that was a really cool tip and trick on iOS 16. And lastly, what I got for you guys is called Home Screen Creator. I just did a tutorial on how to use this yesterday in yesterday's video, and I think it's just really cool. That's how I have made the home screen look really custom. I have this kind of bordered dock look, the notch is hidden. I have a really cool kind of background behind the widget there, the fitness widget. Uh, some of the icons and widgets have shadows behind them, which gives it a real cool 3D look. And there's just a ton you can do with Home Screen Creator. You can add different styles of shadows behind the icons. You can add different style shadows or backgrounds or borders around the widgets. You can do cool things with the dock and the background and the notch. I think it's really awesome. I do have a separate tutorial for Home Screen Creator, so if you guys want to check it out, it's pretty cool and it does work on iOS 16. And uh, those are the first five things that I thought were really cool with iOS 16. So hopefully you guys have found something new in this video. If you have, definitely throw me a thumbs up. Also remember the post link in the description for everything you might need is there. So be sure to check that out. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.